What's up everybody, Marvin Ford here with another Great American Survival. And in today's video, we're gonna be comparing my Luz TXS combo with my Abu Garcia Max Pro combo. Both of these are exceptional. They're both gonna set you back between $120 and $130 on average from what I found. And both are gonna get it done. So if you're looking at getting into a new bait caster, wanna pick up a combo so you can save some time, stick with us, I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, now let's talk about these combos. Uh, first off, you got the Luz TXS Speed Stick. Now this has been a great little combo. I've had it for about a year and a half. Um, this is a six foot, 10 inch, medium heavy, good for 10 to 20 pound line, and up to a 5 8 ounce lure, fast action tip. This combo has been great especially for finesse baits, uh, Texas rigs, things like that. And the seven five to one reel makes that even easier for you to catch up to. Works really, really well for that. Uh, only negative about that for the finesse is I like um, a longer rod. Eh. Um, seven foot, seven foot two, seven six, uh, usually when I'm doing finesse baits, but that one has been a wonderful combo. Probably one of the longest combos I've kept next to my little Pro Mac, uh, uh, Procaster by Daiwa. That is probably one of the longest casting combos I've kept. Uh, this is the Max Pro by Abu Garcia. And this is a seven foot, good for three quarters of an ounce, uh, fast action and up to 20 pounds of line. The reel is a seven one to one. Both have incredible color schemes and both are brighter colors. Um, I like brighter colors, especially if I'm using them in my kayaks, because if I lose them over, overboard, I want to be able to go get them. I always keep goggles in my boat because I do drop rods all over, over the side. I've fallen out. I flip up, flip my boat. Things like that happen. I've been doing this over 30 years. That's going to happen. So both are exceptionally well done. Now the Pro Max is, uh, the Max Pro is one of my newer combos. I haven't had it long and I've had it for about six months and it replaced, I had the Pro Max and the Pro Max was an exceptional combo. Uh, but this has a better reel in my opinion. Um, both have really good accents. That one's got the green and black with the uh, green anodized and this is white and black with orange anodized accents on the spool, uh, the worm gear rod, um, spacer over here for the crank arm, and on this one, it's all green. So both are really, really well done. Um, this, I think the Max Pro is good for just about any type of moving bait you wanna throw. Uh, you can slow it down for spinner baits and if you're working like finesse baits, it's got a 7 one to one reel so it can catch up very quickly. I like the faster reel when I'm working finesse baits because if I set the hook, sometimes they'll swim towards you and you just got to be able to catch up to them otherwise you don't realize it and you go to pull and you pull it right out of their face. You know, so we're going to take these both down. We're going to throw them around on the lake and see what we can catch. All right. Now, first up is the Luz X, uh, TXS Combo. Now, both of these are seven foot. This one's 6'10", medium heavy. The other one, they're both right around the seven foot mark. Both are medium heavies and both cast very well. But cast very, very smooth. Now, just like most with when it comes to lose, lose have a break-in period where they go from being good to great. Uh, when they're brand new, they're just stiff. They're just very well machined. So, a little more extra in it. There you go. There's your thing. Sorry. It's a one-piece casting rod. Very nice sensation. You can feel all the sensitivity. And it just works really, really well. And that drop won't work good again.
Now, just like any casting rod, you can adjust, you adjust your brake. Honestly, I usually adjust my spool tension just to get a good feel for the bait. And then the brakes, ooh, ooh, come on. I saw the flash. Hopefully that showed up on camera. You can see the flash of the fish that hit that. Um, like I said, this one's got nice magnetic brakes. Um, right now, we're gonna dial it back a little more. Give it a little more movement. And then all I usually do is I want my lure to fall, but I honestly just don't want a lot of side to side action, but I just want the lure to fall where it doesn't fall crazy fast. And this one, I had this one loose. So, so there you go. That'll give you that, which will give you no backlash. Then I back it out just a little more and then chuck it out there. Very nice for that. Uh, usually for the Texas rig stuff, I want the rod to be longer. I like the seven foot, seven two, seven three, seven six uh, for Texas rigs, but with this one, it works really well for this, for Texas rigging baits, but it does really well with the seven five to one. It does the moving baits very, very well. I mean, just does. All right, now this is the Abu Garcia Max Pro. Seven foot, medium, heavy, uh, good up to a three quarters ounce lure, and is a seven one to one reel there we go got that one dialed in brakes about the same back that down just a little and let's see man it bombs them out there now let's see now remember this is a seven one to one so you do not have to crank this very fast and that'll get that diving crankbait down there bouncing off the bottom very easily uh, you go too fast and you're more pulling up than you are down and you want to let the lure do its job um, be nice i'm bouncing off the bottom i can feel every bit see if you look up the tip of the rod you can see it it's just going dunk 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 bouncing off that rock bottom which is what you want with this crankbait you want it on the bottom you want it looking for it. I'm, this is not deep water, so it can't be crazy out there. So now I've got a quick snap on this one, so I can swap this one out and change it out. I think I'm going to throw a topwater bait on here and run it over here next to the bank and see if I can come up with something. All right. Got a little topwater tied on. Chuck it over here. Now it's shallow, but... It's a rocky bottom. So those fish are just sitting on the bottom looking up, waiting for something to cruise by. Water temp's kind of cold today. Uh, it's cold outside. It's 35 today. walk the bank and see if we can get anything. Um, let's talk about the two that we have here today. Blues XT, uh, TXS, um, is a great combo. Um, if you're looking for a crankbait, chatterbait, uh, jerkbait rod, jerkbaits, this is your choice. Um, I wouldn't be running fluoro. I mean, I wouldn't be running mono. I'd be putting fluoro, 12 pound, 10 or 12 pound fluoro, and it'll throw and use just about anything you want. Uh, the six, five to one, you have to crank real slow though, because this thing will just burn them in. Uh, works good with swim baits, but jerkbaits, Crankbaits, this is your best choice out of these two. Um, later down the road, I'd upgrade this rod, but if you want to keep it in the jerkbait area, stick with the six foot eight, six foot ten, and that's going to do it for you. It's going to perform like a champ. Next, if your is our other choice, the Max Pro from Abu Garcia. Great spinnerbait rod, 
same thing. Turn it, slow it down. Don't burn them back too fast. Both are going to power fish very, very well. The Max Pro, the reel is exceptional. And that's the one thing you have to remember about these combos. Both these combos, you're going to pay $100 just for these reels. But if you buy the combo, say $120, bucks, you are getting a good rod that's going to get you on the water, perform very well. But later on down the road, you want to upgrade, change out the rod, go with one of those 7'6 Veritas rods or anything along those lines for the Abus. Great rods, great rods. I think both these combos are great, but if you're looking for a power fishing rod uh, that's going to do spinner baits, crank baits, chatter baits, go with the Max Pro. Um, if you're looking for something that's going to jerk bait rod, finesse rod, uh, uh, crank bait, uh, diving crank baits, uh, the X, the TXS is going to be your choice. Um, I think they're both great choices. They both have their pros and cons, but. Like I said, they're two totally different combos. Um, they both work very, very well. And I think just the little rod differences make it where you can really isolate these and really power fish them and have them set up. I think if you're a bank fisherman, that TXS is a better choice, but they both work really, really well. I've caught fish on both. Hopefully, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you go over and check them out. I'll put a link to Abu Garcia and to Luz and to Academy and Dick's Sporting Goods where you can pick them both up. Um, thanks again. Um, make sure you, if you want to get it, reach out to us. Go over to um, Facebook or Instagram or just shoot us an email at greatamericansurvival at gmail.com. And guys, be safe this week. Take time to get outside. And guys, whatever you do, enjoy it. Take time this week to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature, be prepared, stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.